Look, this AI animation was created for free in just four steps. Before, this used to take days, but now you can do it in minutes. So I'm gonna show you how to do this even if you've never made an AI animation before, so you can bring your AI images to life and even go viral on social media. First, I wanna show you some examples of what's actually possible for you to do with this method I'm about to show you. This was created by the amazing, talented framer on Twitter that I highly recommend you follow. Here is another example of a more cyber space type thing with Jarvi and framer going into this car and then driving through this amazing looking cyber city. This is one of my favorites that I'm gonna show you how to recreate today. I absolutely love this. It's Lisbon with a tram and you can see that this is continuous continually looping again and again. So let's go to step number one, generate an image. Just go to bing.com slash create because you can create images for free. Since I have access to ChatGPT, I'm gonna use that, but this uses the exact same image model. Just prompted, generate a 2D pixel art isometric scene of a tram in Porto, Portugal. This is the first result we got, but this will be very hard to animate, so we gotta keep going. But I kinda want it to be from a top down, so I'm just gonna change the prompt a little bit. It's getting better, but we gotta keep iterating. Yes, this is a lot better. As you can see, it will animate on this line right here and continuously loop. So this is what I'm gonna go with. And then we're gonna go to step number two, erase and replace. Go to runwayml.com. You can use this completely for free. So I'm just gonna sign in and then I'll start scrolling a little bit down these runway AI tools to find erase and replace. I'll drag my image in here and now we need to do some changes. First, I don't think it's gonna be nice to have all these people around because then we have to animate a bunch of things instead of just a tram. So I'm gonna try to remove the people first. So I'll just draw over the people, try to only get the street, because it's gonna be easier for it to actually be able to remove it. These people down here as well, these people on the other side of the street may be a little bit harder for it to actually erase, but let's see what actually happens. I'll prompt it street and click on generate. I'm crossing my fingers, hoping that this will work. Yeah, it actually did pretty well, but I can also click on this button here to change the different streets to where I actually want it. I actually like this number three here a lot. So this is the one that I'm gonna use. Just click on accept. And then I'm gonna move over to the tram. This is probably gonna be one of the harder parts because it's taking up a lot of the actual image. I'll move over to the brush size and change it a little bit to make it bigger. And I'll try to paint around the entire tram. And I'm also gonna include the shading here. So hopefully we can get just a clean tram line and not much else. Just like that, I've covered the entire tram and maybe a little bit too much to the right, but let's prompt it to the pixel isometric street and tram line and see what we get. Okay, it's not that bad. Let's check out number two here. Oh, that looks horrible. Number three and four. Yeah, it doesn't look half bad. I'm not sure if any of these would actually pass. What do you think? Number one, number two, number three, number four. I think maybe number one will be the best and we can clean it up a little bit. Maybe number four is gonna be the best. They all have all of these different artifacts that hopefully they won't see and notice when the tram is moving. So I'll accept this one and then I'll try to fix it a little bit more. I don't want this little artifact down here and I kind of want the tram line to look a little straighter. So I'll do this and I don't know what this parking meter is doing in the middle of the street. So I'll do this as well. I'll keep the same prompt and generate. Yeah, that actually cleaned it up quite nicely. I'll select the one I like the most and click on accept. So we've now created a completely clean background, but we need to animate the tram going through the entire city. And if you want me to do that, please drop a like on the video and comment down below what you want me to animate next. Step number three, get clean assets. Just go to 
people don't actually understand that if you have a website, you can easily turn that into an AI chatbot in less than 60 seconds. Even integrates with Slack or Zapier if you want to. Step number one is just to go to your website and copy the link. Step number two is to go to Denser AI and you can start for free. Step number three, just click on create now where you can create a chatbot from web or files. Just gonna paste the URL in here and click on build now. It'll start crawling HTML files, parsing web pages, processing documents and building document index. Step number four, now just click on chat and you can write any question. What's this website about? It will give you a correct answer and link to all the sources. You can customize it exactly how you want, even collect leads through the chatbot. Then step number five, just add this simple code to your website. And there you have it, a GPT powered chatbot. Let's ask what's the best roof nest, the Sparrow 2 and a link to the article. It couldn't be easier to add value to your customers. So click the link in the description to check out Denser AI. Thanks to Denser for sponsoring this section of the video. Step number three, get clean assets. Just go to photop.com and then we'll drag our image in here with all the assets. And the reason we need this is because it will actually go behind the building and we need to separate that in a different layer. It'll also go over this light pole. So we need to get that asset as well to make the animation really clean. So all you need to do, right click and click on the polygonal lasso select. Yeah, English is hard. I'll zoom in really close so we get all the pixels that you can see here. Click on the lasso tool and I'll just start by clicking and when you have a straight line, it's really easy. So just go to the top here. And it's important that you actually get the black parts here cause that will make it look a lot cleaner. So I'll just go through here, covering the entire edge of this building, just like that. We just keep going up, selecting all the pixels that we want. And we're almost there. We just need the roof here and go all the way to the right side here go to the edge of the building here and then we're going to go down to the bottom of the street and we're going to connect it just like this as you can see we've selected the entire building here and all we need to do is click on the background layer click on command j or Control j and as you can see we now have a perfectly cut out building pretty awesome right now we need to do the exact same for the tram and for this light pole so let's just do a time lapse. All right, there we have selected everything. One thing that I'm not so sure about is the shadow here. And if you actually want to take things away, you just hold the Alt key or on the Mac Option key you select over the place that you don't want and it's gone. Then we do the exact same thing, Command J or Control J, and now we have a perfect cutout of just the tram. It's looking pretty sick. I'll just quickly do the lamppost as well. There we go, just control J. And a quick tip on everything that is straight, you can hold shift to always make it completely straight. Well, as you can see, we now have all the different assets that we need in order to make this animation work. Pretty simple, right? I'll just export them all in different layers. So I'll export this one as PNG of just the house. And it's important that it's PNG because it's transparent. Then I'll just click on file, export as and PNG. And this is important for all the assets. So they have a transparent background, which is gonna be important for when we go to step number four, animate. Just go to capcut.com because this is a free video editor. Just click on new video, click on upload and upload file. We're gonna select all the assets, including the background that has no tram. And we'll start by dragging the actual background on the first layer. Then we'll add the tram on another layer. We'll add the house on another layer, as well as the light pole. Then the fun begins. We'll start by selecting the tram layer and now we're gonna do the keyframes. Go to the top right and click on basic. We'll start by dragging the playback all the way to the beginning. Then we'll drag the entire image here up to the right, out of frame. Just try to make sure that it will fit right out of frame and we'll click on this add keyframe in the position, just like that. Then we'll drag the playhead all the way to the end. 
we'll drag the image all the way to the bottom left of the image kind of like this and now what we've all been waiting for the tram is moving through the city of porto in portugal is this the best animation in the world no but now you have the skills so you can create some of your own thank you so much to framer for showing me this and thank you so much for watching if you make one please tag me the ai andy on twitter and if you want to know my favorite ai tools ranked by me personally and not upvoted by thousands of bots click the link in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one